good morning and thank you guys for coming out this morning. Um, I'm happy to stand here with uh, several of my colleagues and an attempt to, as uh, Representative Cutler indicated, reinvent uh, government for the 21st century. Uh, I'm pleased to be the prime sponsor of legislation to consolidate the Commonwealth's workforce development system. Currently, workforce development programs are spread out across many state agencies, including the Department of Labor and Industry, the Department of Community and Economic Development, and the Department of Human Services. This leads to duplication of services and missed opportunities, both for prospective employers and those who are seeking to obtain employment. The current system makes it difficult for job seekers to know the programs they qualify to know the programs they qualify for and where to go to access these programs. Employers are having problems finding qualified employees. The need for qualified and available workforce is one of the most common issues raised by employers who are seeking to expand or remain in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Currently, fewer than half of Pennsylvanians have college credentials or industry-recognized certifications. By 2025, it is expected upward of 60% of reliable, good-paying jobs will require these credentials. We must act now to improve services for job seekers and prospective employers while providing a better value for the taxpayers who fund these programs. My bill would consolidate all workforce development programs under the direction of the Department of Community and Economic Development. This department is the best choice because it is tasked with keeping current employers in Pennsylvania and bringing new opportunities to the state. By consolidating the programs, we will be able to leverage the federal, state, and local resources already available to, pro to provide a simpler and more impactful system. I look forward to moving this proposal forward to benefit job seekers, employers, and the Pennsylvania economy. I now turn uh, the podium over to my good friend and colleague, Matt Dowling, from parts of Fayette and Somerset Counties.